Welcome back to the News Hub. I'm Simon Constable. We have more of London 2012 Olympics coverage. Well, NBC is winning big in Olympics coverage, despite a lot of hoopla. And we've got Suzanne Vernicher here on the set with us to tell us all about this. Thanks for having so me. So we don't really need reminding much about the hoopla. The hoopla is the tape delay, the um, not right. showing of um, a, a memorial to victims right. of terrorism. You just have to log on to Twitter and you'll see and countless complaints. <laughs> countless complaints. Th those being the big two, though. Um, but they are doing pretty well. They, they do they, pretty well. Contest, yeah, they're not losing money. No, which is sort of unique for the Olympics, you, you know, because of the rights that everybody has to pay for them. Um, Comcast had earnings today, and in their uh, Steve Burke, uh, the CEO of NBC Universal, said they, they actually could break even this year. They were expecting a loss of $200 million. Advertising sales seem to be do, doing really well, despite all this criticism. Um, obviously, a lot is sold up front, but there's ab absolutely more that happens during the games where advertisers jump in, and ratings have been blockbuster for them. Average um, of 30, I think 30 34.8 million viewers, an yes. average. You would well, you could say for the first five days they're up about nine percent uh, in ratings, which is pretty people. good. But more importantly, the guarantee that they gave to advertisers, they're beating a ratings guarantee anywhere between five and twenty percent, depending on the day. So that means well. They could have undersold it, but really that just means that they won't be giving make goods, which they often find um, themselves in that situation in past Olympics where they owe advertisers time because the ratings didn't come in. So this all bodes well for NBC, um, which obviously needs something to sort of hold on to as it continues to struggle. Um, it, you know, for years it's kind of tried to amp up its uh, primetime lineup, um, and the Olympics is going to help that because they're going to use the Olympics, and they have been running lots of promos mm. for all their shows. Okay, and I mean, I think I think. 35 million viewers is is really quite quite phenomenal well, in mean, today's it, world absolutely in, in, to, in today's world maybe maybe not um, years ago does this stop the the general bigger trend that we're seeing um, people migrate to watching stuff on the web no um, mo right so that's got to be that's got to be in the back of their minds is that well, the, the, the complaints come because people are watching stuff on the web well two things number one the complaints are out there on Twitter and obviously the bigger thing is that advertisers are watching but they're not really upset because the ratings are showing that despite you complaining, you're still tuning into NBC and keeping the ratings up. The second point is that... Not everybody. Well, not everybody, but enough of them that's keeping everybody in the pockets full of money, okay, right? So go. that's fair. Secondly, sports is the one event that the networks can hold on to where people want to see it live and they tend to want to go and be in the comfort of their living or room. Or tape delayed. Or tape delayed. Look, people like those kind of niche little heartfelt, teary, jerky stories that NBC nestles in between its coverage, and obviously that's what they're tuning in for.